What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mom the Moors. Um, haven't been on here for a minute. Um, got super busy after the holidays. I really thought um, going to January, it would really slow down and it really hasn't. Um, it took about three weeks right now to try to keep up. I think I pushed out like 22 jobs. So I finally got to a point that, uh, you know, it's, it's slowed down right for for now basically um i'm still getting customers in in here so um but one cool thing um i had a rep hit me up from uh hipaa um products so basically they they sell uh parts carburetors and filters and primer bulbs and everything you can think of for small engines um me personally um as a flipper i used a lot of their products um, even even now, um, I do use uh, a lot of the carburetors, um, a lot of the filters. Um, people don't understand is 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 literally the same thing. Uh, a a filter, you know, will run OEM will run you you know sixteen dollars, and through HIPAA you could buy a pack of them for like ten bucks. Um, so basically, um, the rep hit me up and she sent me a uh, a few things, uh, which I'm gonna use on a on that Toro there. Um, I actually found that in the garbage. Um, wasn't gonna use it for parts, but I sprayed some. Uh, so started flowing to the carburetor and turned on and shut off. So I'm like, hey, it might just need a carburetor. So we're gonna find out. But I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of cool. Um, products that I I bought and um, I keep in stock as a shop I literally keep this stuff in stock um, and you can buy this stuff directly from them or Amazon um, but I'll show you here in a minute so this is basically the stuff I usually keep um, fuel lines which Jesus do I need I get a lot of them with uh, bad fuel lines um, you know filters small engine you know the two cycles um, these are usually used on the Echoes. Um, the filters, primer bulbs, can never uh, have enough. You know, all the type of primer bulbs for the free other brakes with the plastic carburetors in them. Um, what else? Yeah, these type of filters here. Um, you know, the gaskets, O-rings. They have a variety of, of things, fuel filters. Um, like I said, they, they have a lot of things that you as a flipper or if you want to get started as a shop, this is great to start off with and um, literally have in stock. So this is the Toro that I uh, found in the, in, in the garbage basically. Um, also, they do sell this kit guys, HIPAA, listen love it every single tool you need um to deal with like the blowers and chainsaws and weed eaters great kit to have and this is the carburetor they sent me okay same exact one if you want to spend 65 dollars okay i think this one i think it was 15 bucks or $12, which it comes with a kit that you always need, and filters, which you're not gonna use on this, but is always good to have, okay? So that's the good thing about it. They, You buy a kit, they send you little extra stuff like this, but this you keep in stock, you know? So basically you, you, you're getting filters for free that you can use on the, on the, on the tractors, on gravity-fed um, carburetors, so it's great to have. So we're just gonna mount this on. So let's take take the old O-ring off. Let's put the new one that HIPAA provided with. And like I guess I got they're a Chinese-based company. And I always said it: every product you buy for these small engines, they all made in China. And don't want to hear it. Literally, they're all made in China. 
So we're going to slip this here. And uh, 10 millimeter. up here is a quarter inch pretty sure we are empty in gas yes we are let's put some gas in it all right just put some gas in there real quick you guys didn't have to see that so um, put the back cover on there, which this kit, carburetor kit, comes with a gasket. Line up the bolts. I should have grabbed my my power gun, my impact. It would have been so much easier and fast. That's in there, that's in, that's in, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's check the oil. And we're a little low, so let's add a little oil here. Just to be safe. See if she she cranks over.
and that's how easy it is, guys. You literally could find something that someone threw away. All right, pick it up, spend 15 bucks on it. And I, I technically I could flip it, I don't know. You wanna do a quick flip, sell it for 60 bucks. If you wanna go in there and sharpen the blade and, and change the spark plug and change the oil and clean it up and make it look nice, that Toro Pirate fetch you at least 120 to $130. I could care less. Um, I just, I have a bad habit of seeing free stuff and not grabbing it. I probably regret it later not grabbing it. So, um, yeah, I, just, I don't know. I just, as a flipper, I still have that in my head, you know. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and like I said, this video is sponsored by HIPAA. Listen, you guys got to check them out. Check them up on uh, Amazon. They got a lot of cool stuff. Um, cheaper than anybody else, I'll tell you that. Um, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, next video, most likely be working on this generator. Um, so, little info on this. Uh, this company, uh, iPower, actually contacted me. Um, and customer brought this in. So, basically, if... I get this situated and get it going maybe that creates more of a, a you know more of an income not income but um uh, warranty stuff basically because it's warranty um and hopefully they keep continuing to to uh contact me and and let me work on on their equipment that needs to be worked on and serviced um and like i said if i could grow a relationship with them hey that's great you know so so far uh i have a couple of uh a couple of companies I work work with and um, you know just deal with them with warranty stuff you know and like right now I'm in the process of doing some school um, through um, they're called Penn Foster, Penn Foster so Penn Foster has a a course there um, for small engines um, and once you once you complete them you know they send you a certificate and basically you are certified to work on small engines and right now that's kind of holding me back is literally a piece of paper you know um, and getting more warranty work with different companies um, especially like with uh, with echo and stills uh, with that certificate they they are willing to to work with me and give me a shot so um, hopefully that's uh, that'll be in the near future and um, Everything works great, and hopefully uh, it gets to there, you know. And once it gets a little bit more busier, hey, maybe I'm moving to a bigger shop. You might never know. Uh, but, yeah, that's it, guys. Listen, if you like the video, like, subscribe, um, comment, whatever you guys want. If you guys need any info on how to start up a shop like I did um, out of a shipping container, hey, hit me up. Um, until next time, guys, God bless, and we are gone.